Good morning, everyone. All right, I just uh, finished doing my fast cardio. Just doing a cool down right now. This light is in the way. Anyways, I'm going to explain once and for all, I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel, the importance of fasted cardio and a new tidbit of information, how you can enhance your fasted cardio. So I can do it like this. So, again, the body's in a state where it doesn't quite realize physically that it's awake first thing in the morning. And if you're going to perform cardio, it's best if you want to lose weight, burn fat, best to do the first thing in the morning, empty stomach immediately after waking up. It's almost like you're in a state of ketosis, fat burning. <clears throat> so what you're going to do, wake up, drink a lot of water, and go right to the gym, cardio, bike, go for a walk um, with purpose. And it's got to be with purpose. Um, your body essentially is going to be using ketones and fatty acids as energy, but it has to be depleted of glucose and glycogen first. And that's why fasted cardio is so effective because essentially you've been sleeping for six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours, and your body's essentially, for the most part, broken down all of its glucose, blood sugar, depending on how fat you are and how much blood sugar you have. That being said, <clears throat> when you do fasted cardio, your body uses those that glucose and glycogen fast, really, really quick. And what glucose is, it's our body's most available form of energy. It's just carbohydrates broken down, glucose. What's glycogen? Glycogen is multiple molecules of glucose bound together, stored in our muscles and liver. And so when you perform fasted cardio, your body uses up the glucose first, and then it starts to pull the reservoirs of glycogen, and it starts to burn that off. The goal is to deplete your body's resources of glucose primarily, glycogen secondarily, and then your body's going to start to use, again, fatty acids and ketones and that's when you're in a fat burning state. It's easier to get into a fat burning state first thing in the morning on fast cardio. Make sense? The lower your carbohydrate intake is throughout the days, low carbohydrate diet, you're going to eventually continue to work out. You're gonna deplete those reserves of glucose and glycogen more and more and more, and eventually you're going to become in a more fat burning state daily. <clears throat> that being said, if you want to enhance your fasted cardio, I've been doing a lot of research and I found that drinking coffee first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, no sugar, no cream, it has to be small, just a small coffee or an espresso, will enhance your fasted cardio. And here's how. Caffeine in the coffee stimulates your adrenal glands because there's no sugar in the coffee, right? But the caffeine stimulates your adrenal glands, and when your adrenal glands are stimulated, they secrete three stress hormones, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and cortisol. Those hormones signal to the body that there's an emergency, there's flight or fight, and it requires an immediate release of fuel. What fuel is that? Glucose and glycogen. And so, when your body immediately requires that fuel, it's going to release all of the body's glycogen, put it in the bloodstream, and bam, you've got an influx of blood sugar. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna burn that off, doing your fasted cardio. So that helps deplete your glycogen stores a lot quicker with fasted cardio and that small coffee, but don't put sugar in it because that totally defeats the purpose of adding blood sugar to the whole scenario. You don't want that. You want to decrease your body's blood sugar. So essentially, you're just really pulling from those res uh, reserves, which is the, the glycogen. So um, fasted cardio is fantastic. Um, I've been doing it all for about like six, seven months, like on the steady. And before my first competition, I was doing it as well with prep. 
but now I've really implemented it in my whole lifestyle. Uh, you know, three times a week, twice a week if I'm feeling lazy, but I'm still doing it. So, guys, just remember, classic cardio is so, so good. You really want to implement it in your whole lifestyle and training because it really helps with fat burning. Plus, it also helps um, set your metabolism for the rest of the day. So again, fast cardio, empty stomach, right to the gym, bike, treadmill, elliptical, stair climber, half hour, 40 minutes, steady state. You're not going crazy and you're gonna sweat. You need to sweat. Drink lots of water. If you want to enhance your fast cardio, you can have a small coffee or an espresso, help release the excess amounts of glycogen and glucose in your body, you're gonna burn that off doing the fasted cardio. And again, that's the whole goal during cardio and fasted cardio is to deplete your body's levels of glucose and glycogen, get rid of all of that through a low carbohydrate diet and lifestyle. That's why a lot of bodybuilders are carb cycling and whatnot. And then once that happens, you go into a state of relatively ketogenesis. I mean, we're not gonna talk about that. You're not gonna be in a ketogenic diet, but your body's eventually gonna be using fatty acids and ketones as energy because you've deprived yourself of all of those glucose and glycogen carbohydrates. So, hope that makes sense. Fast cardio, if you wanna have that little coffee, it does help, but you gotta do it strategically right before the fast cardio, not after or anything like that, all right? Hope that helps, in good health and in good spirit.